Hey guys, welcome to the channel. When it comes to telescopes, Celestron is the number one brand. They have a wide range from very basic beginner telescopes to the most advanced expensive telescopes. One such series from Celestron is the Celestron Power Seeker series of telescopes. This series of Celestron is mostly aimed towards the beginner level of astronomers. In this series, there are nine telescopes. The smallest aperture size is 50 millimeters and the biggest aperture size is 127 millimeters. Out of these nine telescopes, some telescopes have the same aperture size but different types of mount. For example, in the Power Seeker series, you will find Power Seeker 70AZ, which has the alt azimuth mount, and Power Seeker 70EQ, which has an equatorial mount. By the way, if you want to know about different types of mounts and some more basics of astronomy, then check out this playlist on the channel. So if you count according to aperture size, then there are six telescopes in the series, 60, 70, and 80 millimeters. Aperture telescopes are available in both AZ and EQ mounts. As this series of telescopes are aimed at beginners, the prices of these telescopes are in a very affordable range. Basically, the telescopes in this series are for beginners to just get started with the minimum budget. To keep the cost down and make them affordable, the telescopes have the spherical mirrors instead of the parabolic ones. Usually, spherical mirrors are less accurate in giving you a clear, sharp image. You'll notice spherical aberrations in the image with a spherical mirror. If you want to know the difference between these two types of mirrors, then subscribe to the channel. We will post a detailed video about this topic in the future. Now let's see the telescopes in this series. The first telescope in the series is the Power Seeker 50AZ. This is a refractor type telescope. It has a 50 millimeter aperture of around two inches. Its focal length is 600 millimeters and its focal ratio is 12. The highest useful magnification of this telescope is 118 times, and the lowest useful magnification is 7 times. This is a very basic telescope and suitable for people who are on a very tight budget. The telescope is best suited for kids who are just starting with astronomy. As the aperture is just 50 millimeters, there are very limited things you can see with this telescope. But with this telescope, you can see the moon, planets, and some bright objects. The second telescope in this series is the Power Seeker 60AC and 60EQ. It's also a refractor type telescope and has an aperture of 60 millimeters. Though these telescopes have the same aperture size, they have slightly different specifications, such as 60AC has a focal length of 700 millimeters and a focal ratio of 12. However, the 60EQ has a focal length of 900 millimeters and a focal ratio of 15. The optics of these telescopes are good and it's coded for maximum throughput. Both of these telescopes are very portable. The 60AC with alt azimuth mount weighs around 3.5 kilograms and the 60EQ with equatorial mount weighs around 4.5 kilograms. A 60 millimeter telescope is enough for observing the moon. You can see good images of the moon with this telescope. When it comes to observing planets, the performance is average, and for deep space, this telescope is not at all suitable, but you might be able to see some bright deep space objects. The third telescope in the series is the Power Seeker 70AC and 70EQ. Both of these telescopes are exactly the same. The only difference between them is the mount they use. The telescope has an aperture of 70 millimeters around 2.75 inches and has a focal length of 700 millimeters and a focal ratio of 10. The highest useful magnification of these telescopes is 165 times and the lowest useful magnification is 10 times. The optics of this telescope is good and will give you better images with color accuracy and sharpness. The aperture of the telescope is big enough to see planets. With this telescope, you can see the moon, Saturn rings, and Jupiter's moons. You can see some deep space objects, but for the deep space, objects don't expect too much from this telescope. The fourth telescope in this series is the Power Seeker 80AZ and 80EQ. 
They are refractor type telescopes. Both of them have the same aperture of 80 millimeters, but different specifications. The 80AZ model has a focal length of 400 millimeters and a focal ratio of five. Its highest useful magnification is 189 times, and its lowest useful magnification is 11 times. However, the 80EQ model has a focal length of 900 millimeters and a focal ratio of 11. This is an achromatic doublet refractor telescope. The optics of this telescope are well coded and good. With this telescope, you can see the moon, planets, and bright objects like double stars. You may be able to see the phases of Venus and Mercury, lots of detail on the moon, and perhaps the ice caps on Mars. Considering the price and performance, these are great beginner telescopes. The fifth telescope in the series is the Power Seeker 114EQ. This is a Newtonian reflector type telescope. It has an aperture of 114 millimeters, which is around 4.5 inches. Its focal length is 900 millimeters, and the focal ratio is 7.8. The primary mirror of the telescope is spherical, but because of the long optical tube, most of the operations will not be noticeable. The optics of the telescope are good and well-coded. The telescope has a big enough aperture to collect more light. With this telescope, you can see the details of the moon, such as craters and ridges. You can see Jupiter and its moon, Saturn's ring phases of Venus, in the deep space objects, you can see the star clusters, Andromeda Galaxy, Orion Nebula, and overall the telescope performance is good. The telescope comes with a German equatorial mount. The quality of the mount is not up to the mark, but if you use the optical tube with another sturdy mount, you'll get a great result from this telescope. The sixth and last telescope in the series is the Power Seeker 127 EQ. This is also a Newtonian reflector telescope. It has an aperture of 127 millimeters and around five inches. Its focal length is 1,000 millimeters and the focal ratio is 7.8. Its highest useful magnification is 250 times and the lowest useful magnification is 18 times. The optics of this telescope are good and well-coded as it has a 5-inch aperture telescope. The telescope falls in the category of beginner-level deep space observation telescopes. The telescope uses a spherical mirror, so this telescope might give you some aberrations. It doesn't lower the quality of the telescope overall, but it does mean that you'll need to put in a little bit more effort to get a clear image. With this telescope, you can see the moon, Saturn and its rings, Jupiter and Mercury. In deep space, you'll be able to see the Orion Nebula, the Lagoon Nebula, and bright galaxies. Considering the price of the telescope overall, this telescope is great for the things it offers. So that's it from some of the telescopes in the Power Seeker series of Celestron. Should you go with the Power Seeker telescopes? If you're on a tight budget, then yes. But if you can stretch your budget, then you can find some good telescopes from Celestron itself. This was a short review of each telescope in the video. If you want a full review of each telescope, then please check out our website with links in the description. If this video helped you to understand the Power Seeker series telescopes, then please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more such content.